at a certain point, you do need to go to people and just, how do I say it? You need to be able to tell the Christian story in a way that brings in the things that people most want for their own lives that they're trying to find outside of Christianity and show Christianity, give it to them. I mean, at a certain point, you have to do that. Uh, I did a, an evangelistic tour in Britain some a couple of years ago, and I told one story, and over and over again, people came up and said, I wish Christianity... When I, when I heard that story, it made me wish Christianity was true, but it isn't. And I would say, okay, you want Christianity to be true? Yeah, I do, the way you tell it, but uh, but it isn't. <sighs> That's where you need to get people. You need to tell Christianity. You need to tell the story of Christianity. You need to present Christianity to the place where people wish it would be true, then apologetics will be okay, will be possible. But you have to you have to get to the beauty of it. Then you can go back and sh- and show people you know the reasons for it. I mean, this, I'll tell you what the story was. It's relatively simple. You know, um, Dorothy Sayers wrote a series of uh, detective novels. Uh, on, Lord Peter Whimsey was the detective. I don't know if you ever seen any movies or TV shows. You know, he's a, he's an aristocrat and he's a sleuth. I guess it's in the 1930s in Britain, and he solves all sorts of crimes. And Dorothy Sayers um, wrote a whole series of stories and novels, and he was very popular, and people were reading them, and she was a you know, a pretty well-known detective and mystery author. Then about halfway through the Peter Whimsey novels, a woman shows up. Her name is Harriet Vane. And Harriet Vane is a writer of mystery novels, and she's one of the very first women to get through Oxford, and she, um, uh, she and Peter fall in love. And, uh, you know, Peter's actually, uh, as a bachelor, is kind of unhappy, but they fall in love and, and kind of really heals Peter. Uh, it's pretty interesting because, you know, Dorothy Sayers was the f- one of the first women who got through Oxford. And Dorothy Sayers was a writer of mystery novels. Dorothy Sayers looked at uh, her character, Lord Peter Whimsey, and saw that he needed someone to, uh, you know, help him out. He was, he was kind of eccentric and he was kind of unhappy. And he, ne- she needed something to go into his life to really fill out his life. And so who did she put in there? The detective novelist? A woman? One of the first women to go through Oxford? Who was that? She put herself in there. She wrote herself into the, into the, she, f- she looked into her own world that she'd created. And she fell in love with the chief character, Peter Whimsey, and she wrote herself in and, and healed him. Isn't that nice? How sweet. Except guess what? God creates the world, and we've turned away from him. And we are screwing up our lives royally, and we are unhappy, and God looks into this world, and he loves us, and he writes himself in. Only he really writes himself in. He really puts himself in there. Is Jesus Christ. And he comes and he heals us and he takes us to be his bride, you see? There's a way of telling people the story of what Christianity is all about that makes them say, I wish it were true, but it's not. When you get them there, when you narrate it and show them the beauty of it to the place where they wish it was true, then and only then when you show that it takes more faith to doubt it than to believe it in some ways, when when the things you see out there in the world are more accounted for by the Christian account of things than by the secular account of things, once you bring them into a community in which they actually do see Christianity embodied, you know, in healthy Christian lives and healthy Christian community, they will believe. Many, many, many of them will believe. 